morning. Good morning. And good morning, boys and girls and everyone. We are here today because it's that time again. It is time for our, oh my goodness, February Awards. Can you believe that? It's it was February. February. I have signed all those awards. I have read all the notes and they're very sweet notes to you boys and girls. So I want to say congratulations to you all for your awards. Also for attendance, last week we had three classes that tied for the best attendance in our school. So guys, let's keep that up, okay? Miss Ellis, I did want to ask you a question because I noticed today that you have this uh, flyer and I think it went home. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So it went home with all of our students. Um, it's our spirit gear drive so we are trying to show our school spirit and support our school um, so that we can get some more things done um, so orders um, are due back March 15th and I think that they just go on to this website is that correct That's right it's super easy um, and on our Facebook page there's also a QR code so even uh, easier you just scan it and shop all right boys and girls if you're interested in this uh, I think we told you you have one of these flyers. If you need another one, they're in the front office as well. Or go to our website, okay? All right, guys. Let's have a great learning day in Tigerville. Thank you. Hey, guys. I'm here for your awards for third grade through fifth grade for March 2023. All right, guys. My first one is for third grade. It is for Miss Spindler's class. And it is for Jude. Um, thank you, Jude. I picked. Um, Jude because he is very respectful um, so I see him playing games right and I see him letting other people take turns so always playing the games the right way thank you very much Jude all right my next award is Mr. Michael's class fourth grade and it is JJ um, congratulations again this is sort of the same same reason I gave my last award it is for being respectful. Um, so I see both these people following the game rules and helping out their teammates when we play games, making sure we're doing the game the right way. And my last award is for Miss Lewis class, and it is fifth grade. It is Lyric. Um, I chose Lyric solely on her jump rope skills. I knew when we had our jump rope unit, we're wrapping up right now. Um, but she tried really hard and she tried to improve her number. She had a really high number last year and she was still trying to beat it. So the higher of a number you get, excuse me, the better of a score you get, the harder it is to beat. So you have to work even harder to try to beat that score. All right, guys, if you didn't win this month, keep working hard. There's always next month. See you guys later. Congratulations to the Marvelous Musicians for February. That's why their hearts on the screen. So I realize Valentine has passed, but these are still the winners for the month. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our third grade winner this time. Third grade is a young lady in Miss LP's class. Hmm. Dahlia. It says, Dahlia, you are such a great student. I love how you always pay attention and follow directions. And guess what? It shows in your abilities. Keep working hard. And Dahlia, that is so very true. Sometimes when you pay attention and follow directions, you'll learn so much more, don't you? Yes, good job, Dahlia. All right, our fourth grade. Fourth grade is going to a young man in Mr. Thompson's class, I believe. I think. Yes, it is Mr. Thompson's class. Good. And Nicholas, you're getting that award. It says you are definitely becoming a recorder master. You are totally rocking the songs for sure. Keep up the good work. I know you will also rock out on the ukulele as well yes because it won't be too long maybe a couple more weeks we'll start the ukuleles okay let's keep going to fifth grade oh dahlia i'm glad you won otherwise it would have been all boys this time so i'm glad dahlia got one for the girls way to go dahlia yay this one is in miss garner's class this one even surprised miss biondo a little bit Jacob, 
Jacob, here is your award. It says, well, did you ever think you would win a monthly award in music class? Well, you did. You deserve it for trusting in yourself and trying. And guess what? When you trusted yourself and you tried, you figured out that, hey, I can play the recorder. Nice job, Jacob. I know it took you a little longer to get started, but it's okay. How we end the race sometimes is the most important thing. But I'm very proud of you, Jacob, for working hard, trusting yourself, and not giving up. All right, guys, I'll see you again for our March Awards. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's time for the Growth Mindset Award. Now, remember, growth mindset is when you don't give up, even when it gets hard. You keep trying anyway. So, these students have shown growth mindset over the past month. In third grade, in Miss Spindler's class, Timothy. In fourth grade, in Mr. Thompson's class, Shelby. And in fifth grade, in Miss Lewis's class, Talon. Good job, guys. Keep up the hard work. I'm proud of you. Good afternoon, boys and girls. And I cannot believe we are already celebrating our February awards. We've got some boys and girls who are working really hard, and I can't wait to get started. The library superstar for third grade for this month is a great listener. He always tries his best on every task. This month's library superstar for third grade is Major from Mrs. Lawrence's class. The library superstar for fourth grade for this month enjoys reading. He has even recommended books for the library. He enjoys funny books. This month's library superstar for fourth grade is Eric from Mr. Thompson's class. And the library superstar for fifth grade for this month tries her best on all her tasks. She is kind to her classmates and loves to come by the library to help shelve books. This month's library superstar for fifth grade is Abby from Mrs. Lewis's class. I want to thank you guys for all of your hard work for this month. Just keep it up, and I can't wait to see who's going to win for March. I want to take just a moment to thank all of my volunteers who came and helped with the book fair and thank the boys and girls who shopped in the book fair because all of the proceeds from the book fair go to purchase library books for our library. So thank you for investing in reading. Hello, my amazing students. Well, it's February Amazing Artist time, and I've been watching to find my amazing artists for the month of February. So we're going to get started right away. We're going to see who I've been watching level up and do a great job on their arts and creative processes for this month. All right, let's get started, shall we? Okay, we're going to start off with third grade. This is the Intermediate Awards. Intermediate Awards with third grades got two choices. Third grade is in Ms. LP's class, Ms. Spindler's class. Who, where is our person going to be from this month? Spindler. Oh, Spindler's ears. They all just perked up so big. They're ready to hear that it's Annabelle. Yay, congratulations, Annabelle. Well, Annabelle is always a joy to teach. She is kind-hearted, helpful, and of course, very creative. She is a table leader and always, always, always works hard to give 100% effort. 100%, always. Her creative process is focused and purposeful. Annabelle continues to grow her art skills by observing and listening and carefully following directions. Recently, Annabelle did a wonderful job on her entry for our Litter Trashes Everyone contest. She is one to be watching. She's a great artist. I am so proud of you, Annabelle, and I look forward to continuing to work with you in the future. I love you. And that's from Miss Smith. And you know what that means. All right. That was out to you, Miss Annabelle. Congratulations. 
Moving on to fourth grade, two options. M4, Michaels. T4, Thompson. Hmm. Well, this time it goes to T, T Thompson and Isaac. Isaac is a young artist that has really worked hard to grow his art skills this year. Recently, he did a very nice entry for our Litter Trash is Everyone poster contest. He added great details, a creative theme, and he worked so very neatly to finish his piece. And it was definitely one of the best. Uh, his finished piece was very appealing. Isaac is also a member of our art club. And so he gets double award presentation for that. I am proud of Isaac's growth and look forward to continuing to work with him the rest of this year and in our future. All right, Isaac, I love you, Miss Smith. And what does that mean? Oh, that means that this toot goes out to you. Good job. All right, Isaac. Gotcha. And our fifth grade winner. We have two options for fifth grade. Fifth grade Lewis, fifth grade Garner. Could go either way. Great students in both classes. But when I was watching for this month, my eyes kept coming back to Ivana. Ivana is a wonderful artist. She works hard to add great details and uses great artistic skill in her creative process. Recently, she also did a very nice entry for the Litter Trashes Everyone poster contest. It was really hard to pick a winner for that, by the way. She is also a member of our art club, and I have enjoyed helping her to grow her art skills during her time at Tigerville. She's a fifth grader, so that means I'm going to miss her next year. But once a Tigerville girl, always a Tigerville girl, and we'll keep up with each other. All right, I love you, Ivana, and this toot goes out to you, my friend. Excellent. Ivana, congratulations. Isaac, congratulations. And Annabelle, congratulations. I hope you guys have a great afternoon. And don't forget, I'm always watching. And I'll see you guys around the art ring. Thank you for leveling up this month. And we'll see you later. Bye. Hey, guys. It's time for our February STEM Awards. The students that are receiving the awards this month are students who come in positive every day, happy and willing to work. And even whenever we have a challenging activity, they never give up and they're always willing to help others around them. We're going to start with third grade in Miss LP's class. We have Alan. In fourth grade in Mr. Thompson's class, we have Peyton. And in fifth grade, Miss Garner's class, we have Sabrina. Great job, guys. Mm -hmm.